Okay. Uh, I have my settings. We already have our name. We have our length. We don't need to worry about that. I've edited in the command. Now we think about AI. This is where programming really gets interesting. Okay. So we have our magic eight ball that needs to appear first. We'll go ahead and make that. It's going to ask where the object uh, will go. So we'll say yes to that. We'll select the object, which will be the magic eight ball. Right now we don't want it to move, so we'll select hold. We have our location that we want to set to. We want to make sure it's always at a specific point. And look at that, it starts right off where we want it to be. I'll select yes. Uh, okay, these settings are correct, so I'll select yes. Now I'll go ahead and give it a command to happen when we're ready to go. So I want to tap anywhere on stage. I don't want it to bother with just the object. That's a good enough trigger, so we say yes. Now it's going to ask us for actions to happen when we press anywhere on the screen. First of all, I want us to go to win when you tap. So I'm going to switch this on. Okay. This is the very core of programming right here. It's summed down to the minimalist level. But it's basically, oh, what do they call it? data. This is basically summed down to 0 and 1. But in actual computer programming it gets a whole lot more complicated than that. But this program sticks to the very basics. Without these you could not pull off most games. So we put in the switch that way you can win. And we want it to do another action so we'll tap another action. We want the art to change this art. We want it to play once because it's going to roll off the top at normal speed. We said the normal should be good. And let me see here. I think add action. Hmm. Here's one of the tricks, is to figure out No, I don't want it to travel, I don't want it to lose I don't need a sound effect Switch has already been done, art Stage effect This is where we have to figure out how to make it do what we want. Uh, maybe the trick isn't in this section, so we'll go ahead and back. I'll say yes, that's fine for now. Exit out of this. I want to talk about my other object be this one popping up. We'll make it. Go through the steps. Uh, I don't want it to do anything yet, so we'll have a hold location. Points and area. We want to have a point, the same point as the first one. Yes. Give it a set of instructions. I think when the switch of this one turns on, yes, and we want the artwork to change for that one. Play it once so it loops in, maybe at a slower speed. So they can let the other one roll off. And, 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 and. 
what do we want to do? I know, we want to have that switch on for a control for when the message will pop up. And then we'll see how it works from here. Oh, well, that's set our win up win conditions here. Win magic eight ball switches on. That enough will be to win the game. Because this isn't really a game about winning or losing. Okay, we set our win condition. Let's get out of here. And now we want to figure out how to make it pop up the message. Okay. And I'm thinking... We want to have the location, the same point as everything else. And let's see here. My goal is 3 o'clock. We're at 2.43 right now. We're doing pretty good. Okay. I want to make a condition a switch. When this one is on. Well, when it actually when it turns on, add a trigger, time, the whole point of this is to come up randomly, so we're going to give it a randomness from this, from the first point, to the end of the game. And let me see here. I think we're going to have to come back and do a little bit of editing. We need to get the other switches in place. Let's see if we can pull it off first. Switch. See, we can select... The, you know, it's not going to let me select these switches yet, so we have to wait. Switch. The whole point is not to have more than one message pop up. So... Turn that switch on because we need the control. We're going to add an action of making the art appear. Change. Now let's do the same thing to the other objects. Say it's almost 3 a.m. in the morning and I'm a little bit tired. I'm just going to concentrate on what I'm doing here. Point. 